How's it going? Are you a volunteer or are you no, running? No, I'm the trauma therapist. You are? I've been there for about a year. Yeah. And um, it's busy. It's, uh, is it? It is busy. Um, does it get busier in the off season? No, it actually gets busier in the on season. It does now? Yes, it does. And um, do you think that people are using it enough? I think there's oh, lots and lots of people who don't feel from it. Um, why do you think that is? Well, I think it's very stigmatized, and I think um, people are very private about this aspect of their lives. And Is that I a good thing? Or? No. Well, I think people are frightened and don't want to be exposed. Is, is it always necessary to come out of it, though? I mean, is it... Uh, it what I'm saying is, is it okay that sometimes that they don't use a safe place and that they try to deal with it themselves? Well, I think that trying to deal with it in isolation and in secrecy is a hard, hard way to come out of anything. Yeah. Um, and I think when someone is brave enough and it takes a lot of courage to uh, know that there's support and help and assistance and they're safe, uh, I think they can have it much better. Much better. What percentage of your calls and the help you do is devoted to what? I mean, is it is it mostly battered women? Or? I think I think primarily. You know, I haven't looked at the statistics on the caseload of which clients are in which programs. Um, my sense is that I think of more domestic violence. Um, tends to, we might see a little more of that, yeah. but we really see it all. Is there, is it decreasing, or are, I mean, education, is it getting better? Can, can, are well, we, should I we be optimistic? Getting, I, absolutely. Yeah. And I think it's getting better because it's uh, being spoken about. I think it's not as much behind closed doors, and it's not people are saying this is wrong and we can do something about it and a safe place does a lot of things like we have prevention programs so we go into the school and we do things around bullying and things about um, social relationships and dating um, so we provide a lot of skill building that's interesting you bring up the dating aspect of it is online dating so prevalent today what do you tell people about it? how they approach it, and let's say someone's trying it out for the first time, and is there is there a condition that they should be aware of uh, um, before that date takes place, or is there, I mean, are you just, just flying by the seat of your pants on a date? On a date? Well, you've got to use your instincts, and you've got to be assertive, and you've got to be willing to know for yourself yeah. when it crosses a line, and that being polite is not always the best way. And, and saying and no is a very wonderful too. Absolutely right? have to be in public. Must be in public. You need to tell somebody where you, somebody else, where you are, um, when to be expected back. There's also some app that you can get on your phone at the moment. I can't think of the name, but it's a tracker, and it's a location thing, and it tells anybody that you assign to this where you are at all times. Um, so there's many things you can do to keep yourself safe. And so much of it is common sense. And I think when we get frightened, um, we sort of lose our ability to think. Why did you choose to be a crisis counselor? I am the trauma therapist in a safe place. I've been there about a year. I have been doing this work for about 40 years. Wow. I've done it in a lot of different venues. Um, just one of my specialties, and um, I still have a private practice as well as my part-time work okay. over there. And, uh, it's good to know. So there is. I don't know. You know, it's funny when you say choose. Why do any of us choose our well, career? Is it also a part of the you must you must get the some opportunities from you to that keep doing it. To see knowing that there's help, knowing that people recover. Knowing that trauma is um, is a movable state of being, um, and that we are resilient, keeps me in it. And seeing the progress, and watching people come back to being themselves, and enjoying life, what more could we do?